Hi, welcome to our channel. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the cameras that we use while we're videoing our adventures. We're trying to find the very best one, one that has the most quality, but is the easiest to carry around. And I think it's going to be hard to knock this little Sony off that throne. But in today's video, we try out the Canon M50 along with this Sony HX80 and our iPhones. Which one will win? We'll see in a minute. So trying out different cameras in different situations. We have a Canon M50 that I have on my little fanny pack here. Lynn has our little Sony Cybershot that has a 30x zoom. And then now I'm using my iPhone 10. Carrie said the cool kids call it an iPhone X. I don't think that's true. I think it's an iPhone 10. We're trying to figure out which one is a really good compromise of the best quality photo and video versus what you have to carry. And in a lot of ways, it's really hard to beat this, uh, this iPhone just being in your pocket anyway. And in my case, it's my phone and my wallet and everything else. So, I don't know. We'll put video up from each one of these different cameras. Try to compare. Maybe you guys can help us by telling us which one you think makes the best um, quality video and photos. This is the iPhone 10 here. This is my beautiful wife. She's better to look at than I am. Oh, you're on time. Yeah, you're on time for <laughs> sure. So this is the Canon M50 now. Yeah. And this is the iPhone 10. We don't really have zoom. I've got it on 2x zoom, optical zoom right now. So which one looks better? This is the Sony. And it has a greater zoom. You can get an idea of what that looks like. So which camera looks better so far to you? I think the Sony probably comes close to the Canon. It's not quite the color science, but it's still pretty close. I probably could have set the auto exposure and the white balance and the focus on the iPhone and gotten rid of some of the glare that happened. But you know, to have to remember to do that every time, Lynn and I don't really work that way. We really run and gun when we're making videos. So, so far I'd have to say the Canon is good and the Sony is good for what we just did. To get the zoom that we just showed on the Sony version, we'd have to carry a huge camera bag with us. So, so I say thumbs up so far for the Sony, a little bit for the Canon, and the iPhone didn't do really well on that one. So here's a uh, selfie video with the Canon M50 kind of hear the volume of the microphone and we're not using an external microphone one of the big things it does provide is it gives us the ability to connect up an external microphone let's see how it picks up my sweetie when she talks <laughs> <laughs> never know what to say when he does that so <laughs> uh, no, no. but we're having fun today we are we're just trying to check this out yeah. so this is the internal microphone it is a 15 to 45 millimeter lens, but this does a 1.6 crop on that. So, in other words, it adds 60% to the frame. So, you have to have some long arms to get way out there. But here's the lake with this one. I do think the colors are going to be better with this. What I'm seeing on the LCD, definitely the colors are better. Uh, mainly because it has the Canon color science it's built in. So, we'll see. We just figured out that the, the uh, Sony was set to uh, scene mode right. and not uh, not auto. 
So maybe the skin tones and other things might not be as good. So let me swing around here and show you the lake and show you the pup dog. She's pretty happy about all this. So I guess the Sony wins here too. The microphone that's built into the Canon is really, really top notch compared to the Sony. We did have the Sony set so it would reduce some of the wind noise. So it can, it kind of sounds tinty. So so I'm I'm thinking you know there's still wind noise on both of them. So unless we use an external microphone, it's going to be about the same no matter what. The iPhone does really really well capturing these kind of videos as well, where we just kind of hold it up in front of us and do a video and talk to you guys. If we use the rear facing camera, there's hardly any shake or anything that goes on. If we use the front facing camera, there's no optical stabilization there. That's a big word for this talking head to say, but there's no optical stabilization there. So sometimes it can get shaky, but it's pretty cool too. So I think any of these cameras will work well for the quality. But one of the things we did see with the Canon is the kit lens is, is, is pretty tight to your face. So you don't see a lot of what we're seeing when we're talking. And we kind of like to show you that. The Sony and the iPhone both are wide enough that you can kind of see where we are even when we're talking. So let's keep going. Now we want to walk around and talk and let you see what it feels like whenever we're doing that and see which camera performs the best. This is really going to test the stabilization. And it's going to really test the frame of view too so that we can see as much as you can. See which one wins. So this part of the video is being made by the Canon M50 mirrorless 1080p with autofocus. So here's the Sony doing a, a walk and talk handheld on the Manfrotto tripod. Me and my goofy hat. I would say if goofy's what you're going for. Try to check that out. There's got to be something on this lens that's making it do all the bokeh. Maybe I should just leave it. They look kind of cool if you're in the sun, but maybe not. Here in the shade, that's what it looks like in the shade. The autofocus on the Sony is really top notch. It really is top notch. So here's us walking with the iPhone 10. The stabilization is pretty good. I mean, once again, it's always in my pocket, so it's kind of hard to beat always in your pocket. So which one wins? Well, I guess it depends on what you're going to do with the camera. I know the Canon sure takes beautiful photos. I, I've taken the best photos I've ever taken with the Canon. The zoom on the Sony is always with you. You can operate it with one hand and zoom all the way out to 30x. And we've captured some really beautiful photos with that camera. The iPhone is always in your pocket and it does great at just about everything we've thrown at it. So what did we decide? Well, I'll tell you this, you won't see any more videos from us, at least for a while, on the Canon M50. Before our 30 days were up, we returned it to the store and we got a refund. And we're sticking to the Sony and the iPhone. And in fact, Lynn even said before, maybe the best thing to do would be to buy two of those Sonys so we both can have one in our pockets. Your choice and what you think is best may be totally different from us. Lynn and I would really love to hear what you guys use to take pictures and videos of your adventures as you travel around the world too. Leave those in the comments and if you've got something you think we need to try, as you can see, we don't mind doing that. We certainly appreciate you watching the video and I hope it helped in some way. I love the M50. There's just something about being able to put a little camera like the Sony in your pocket and take it with you everywhere and be able to operate it with just one hand. That's really hard to beat. And then this iPhone 10 is really, really hard to beat for just about anything and everything we do. Even this video here of me doing this talking head. 
We appreciate you watching. Take a few moments and give us a thumbs up if this video helped you at all or if it were or if it was entertaining to you at all. And if you haven't already done so, take a moment and subscribe to the channel. Sometimes we do talking heads like this, comparisons and we do reviews of the things we use, but most of the time we just show you what we're doing when we're out traveling around on this round world as we zigzag around. Hope we see you on the road someday. Thanks for watching.